Chattanooga business accused of not delivering on what they were paid to do is being investigated for possible criminal activity. We first told you about Wichman Monuments last week. Last Tuesday, families from across Tennessee and Georgia began contacting us saying they paid the business for gravestones. Then they never heard from them again. Two days later, we were learned or we learned uh, Wichman lost accreditation from the Better Business Bureau. And last night we learned about CPD's investigation. Now tonight, more people coming forward with complaints about Wichman. Hannah Lawrence joins us now live with their story and what could happen now that police are involved. Hannah. Josh, the family that we t the family that we talked to today is from Chatsworth, but they say that they paid this business here for a tombstone. When they saw our story about all the other victims, they realized they were stuck in that same situation. Receipts show Elijah Early has been making payments on a double headstone like this one for his parents since his mother died in 2016. I told her that I would do for her and my dad when both of them passed away to get a tombstone for him. He says a representative from Wickman Monuments here in Chattanooga came all the way to his home in Chatsworth, Georgia to sell him one. You know, he explained everything about how long it's going to take to pay it all. But after he made his last payment a couple months ago, he hasn't been able to get a hold of anyone at the business. Now, CPD says its fraud investigators are trying to determine if something criminal is going on here. Today, the business's office remains locked. And there's no telling the last time someone was here. There are cars with what appear to be valid registration tags in the back of the business, but on the front door, the UPS notes we found here last week remain. We still can't get anyone on the phone either. The user's mailbox is not available at this time. Attorney Robin Flores has a law enforcement background. He says police may be able to prosecute the owner of the business for fraud. On a fraud, you're conning them. It, it, you're setting up some type of a scheme or a plan. But in the end, nothing happens. I've got your money. I mean, I don't know what else to do. We helped connect early with police today. I'm a victim of a witch's monument. And tonight, he's waiting for his report to help. I hope that I get my mom's tombstone, but whoever done all this, I hope they go to jail or go to prison. The victims that we have talked to say that police have told them to tell other victims that they want them to make a report. We also told early to make a complaint with the Better Business Bureau. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Thank you, Hannah. Since our story first aired, the BBB says it's gotten well more than a dozen complaints about Wichman's monuments. As we first told you about the story last week, the Better Business Bureau uh, began an investigation of the company as well. They also recommended uh, not paying more than a third of the price when you put money down for a gravestone. They say it is best to pay the rest once you receive the headstone. If you've given money to Wichman and have not heard back, the BBB wants you to report it to them. According to uh, local tax records, the business owes almost $8,000 in city property taxes and more than $7,000 in county taxes. That's more than $15,000 owed in the last two years. New tonight, six months after two.